Hello everyone, this is Mr. P. In today's lesson, we're going to look at the present continuous or present progressive. So, um, we have three examples. What are you all doing? Okay, where I'm saying it right now. What are you all doing? We are watching the lesson right now. Great, we are watching the lesson right now. We are not playing games with our smartphones. Well, I hope not. Okay, so let's look at the second slide and the timeline. You know that for the timeline, we need the horizontal line that represents the past on one side, on the left side, and the future on the right side. Then we have a vertical line representing now. Then we have a star and a circle. Okay, what does it mean? Okay, that's where the present continuous present progressive is. So, is an action happening now or around the moment of speaking? It is used to describe pictures. It is used to describe an action that may or will happen later on, like a future arrangement. So, let's look at an example. So, we have this girl... And the first thing that I, you know, want to ask is, what is she doing? What is she doing? Somebody else will answer with the same tense. She is drawing a picture at the moment. Great. She is drawing a picture at the moment. Now, you know that um, every tense in English needs an auxiliary verb, right? Or a helping verb. Yes, in this case, the present continuous or the present progressive has the verb to be as an auxiliary verb or helping verb. So, the verb to be, that means that it is I am, you are, he, she, it, is, we are, and they are. That's right, that's the verb to be. We need the verb to be plus a verb, a main verb, with ing at the end of it. So let's look at the first type of sentence. That is the positive sentence. Let's look at the formula. We have the subject. The subject can be a noun or pronoun, we said. Then the hv means helping verb, so the verb to be plus the verb and ing, so an ing verb, plus the object and then the, the time expression if you have it. For example, I am taking notes right now. I am taking notes now. Or he's working in this period. He's working in this period. Okay? So that's a positive sentence. What happens with a negative sentence? Well, negative negative means no so we add not to the helping verb so we have the subject as the first part of a sentence then the uh, helping verb the verb to be plus not plus ing verb and plus the object and then a time expression if you have it for example he's not taking notes now he's not taking notes now Another example, they are not sleeping in class. They are not sleeping in class. Then the last one is uh, a question, interrogative sentence. So we have the WH question word. If you have that, those are where, who, how, how long, why, etc. Then you have the helping verb because this is a question. So the auxiliary or helping verb goes first, then goes the subject, and then goes the ing verb, and then whatever is next. So, for example, are you taking notes? Are you taking notes? It's a question, right? Is she phoning someone? Is she phoning someone? Okay, so that's good. Now, the contractions use con con uh, contractions only informally do not use them in writing assignments this is very important okay you must write the whole word 
in writing assignments. This is just informally. Informally means when you are, uh, for example, talking to someone informally. So, I am, you would say, I'm, or I'm not, or he is, he his, or he isn't, okay, for negative. She's, she isn't. It's, it isn't, right? We're, we aren't. You're, you aren't. They're, they aren't, etc. No, etc. That's it, <laughs> okay? So, Time expressions and adverbs of time that we use uh, with the present continuous or present progressive. At the moment, this afternoon, this evening, this week, this month, today, while, now, at present, these days, etc. They are placed at the beginning of a sentence followed by a comma or at the very end of a sentence. Now, spelling, the spelling of verbs plus ing. So, ending with ie. So, we take out the uh, ie and we add y-i-n-g. So, die, dying, lie, lying, ending with an e. Well, we delete the e and we add ing. So, delete, deleting. Compete, competing. Ending with consonant, vowel, consonant. So we double the last consonant. Like run, running. Stop, stopping. And so on. Now, this is the most important part of the lesson. And this is what you need to know. The difference between the present continuous and the present simple. Now, the first thing that you need to know is when to use both of them. So, uh, for the present continuous, you use them, you use the, the, the tense to describe an action happening now or around now. The present simple, instead, you use it for a routine, a habit in the present. Okay? Something that belongs to you. For example, I am Canadian. You are Chinese. So, this is present simple. Okay? Um, now, the helping verb that you use with the present continuous, we said that is the verb to be. Am, are, is. The helping verb for the present simple is do or does. Remember, does is for he, she, it only. Right? Now, one thing that is different here is that uh, the helping verb is used in every type of sentence, like the positive, negative and interrogative sentence. While for the present simple, you use do or does only for questions and for negative sentences, only. What happens with positive sentences in the present simple? Um, the present simple has the characteristic that the third person singular, so he, she, it, takes the S or ES at the end of a verb if you're writing a positive sentence. Instead, for the present continuous, you just add to the verb the ING everywhere, like it says there. Use the um, helping verb plus the verb ING everywhere. So positive, interrogative, and negative. Well, I hope it's clear. If you have questions, you asked me under the video. Now we're going to do some practice. So I'm going to ask you to complete uh, the six sentences, pause the video, and then we're going to check them. Okay? So now that you have um, uh, written the sentences, okay, I'm going to give you the key. So for the first one, we have the train always leaves on time. This is, um, we can consider this um, an arrangement, a fixed arrangement. So is used with the present simple. The train always leaves on time. Okay, this is a fixed arrangement, so we use the present simple. 
Number two, what's the matter? Okay, I'm saying it right now. So obviously, if I say right now, it means that I need to use the present continuous. Why are you crying? Okay, why are you crying? Okay, very important. Don't forget the ing right there. Why are you crying? Number three, that's strange. They don't watch TV. I mean that normally the people that I'm talking about don't watch TV normally. Okay, not just now, but normally they don't watch TV. For number four, he doesn't speak very good English. He maybe he will learn few, uh, in the future, but he doesn't speak very good English. That's something that belongs to his personas, to his um, qualities, right? So that's why we use the present simple. For number five, please be quiet. I'm saying it right now. Again, I'm doing my homework. Well, I'm doing it right now. So please be quiet. And for number six, where do you live? That means as a habit, where do they live? Okay, where, um, um, uh, where is their place of residence? Where do they live? Now, for this one, if you said, where are you living now or in this period, that would be okay. The meaning, however, is a little bit different. It means that maybe in the future they will move somewhere else. But in this period, they are living, um, I don't know, in North York. Uh, maybe next month they move to another city. Okay, that's the, the, the difference right there. If you have any questions, please uh, post them under the video. If you like the lesson, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, click on the like um, um, uh, click on the like button and if you liked it and share the video see you next time bye bye